Well, I know we're a couple of months in as far as the season is concerned, but Marcy Quinte, welcome to Westlake and welcome to our Shapcasts. We always try to talk to coaches throughout the year. With your position, you replace an Al Bennett who is, this office has been his domain, his den forever. What's that feeling like when you got the call, you did the interviews and you get the gig? How does that make you feel uprooting your life in the DFW area and coming to Austin? I can say it's an honor to follow Al. You know, I think that coming into this Westlake culture and, and knowing what he's done with the program the last 30 years, it's exciting. And I'm honored and humbled also just to be here and follow him and kind of continue that winning tradition. In the conversations that, that he and I had over the years, and they were few and far between, whether it was passing him at a football game or coming to a volleyball game or interviewing him when he you know won his thousandth game, he always had the perspective of someone's got this after me. This is a tradition that will continue after I'm gone. And he had that kind of attitude. He always talked about being a male coach, coaching women. I look at it as an opportunity to see things from a different perspective. How have the girls so far responded to you? I think the girls are working hard. They're great. Um, When I came in in April, they were just excited to get started, you know, and I think we've been focusing a lot on just team culture and I feel like they have responded really well to the change. I think the whole community has been very supportive and it's been a great transition so far. Even Al has lended a helping hand and advice, you know, and especially when I first started. And so it's, it's been a good transition. I think the kids are reacting well. We talked about this with Coach Dodge when he assumed the reins of the football program in 2014. Is that those first captains mm-hmm. are the most important people. And as far as determining what the culture is going to begin with, and we always talk to coaches and business owners and who all walks of life, you never get another chance to start. You always have that just that one chance of getting off to a good start. And with Jada and with Rory, with Jordan, and some of the seniors that have really bought in, you can tell that you have strong captains in your first year. Our senior class, all of them are strong. We have six seniors in the program total. One of the first things I did coming in was meet with them and ask them, you know, what do you want to keep? What do you want to change? What things uh, do you think we can improve on? We had a really honest conversation with all the upperclassmen and had that talk of like, what things do we need to do to keep improving and to work towards going back to state, you know, winning regionals, winning district again. And those three were nominated by their team and the coaching staff discussed it Um, and all of them have strengths you know that they lead with by action by words by holding their teammates accountable and to working hard and they've been doing a great job I think that you know all of them work well together you know to combine for this leadership that we need in the program for this district and to make a long playoff run I'm always fascinated because we get to that point in basketball and we get to that point in volleyball and there's some of the unique sports on campus that go from a one match or one game to tournament play, usually with travel involved. And I find that when you get your team on the road and get them sequestered in one space and one hotel room or one, a group of hotel rooms, and then you have several games in a day, your success in the Pearland tournament, all of the tournaments that you went to before district play really got off the ground, allowed for that chemistry to kind of develop not only with the players, but with the coaches as well. Describe that experience of being able to compete in tournament play and why it's so important for team chemistry. I think that the bus rides in general are a good time for the kids to play games and joke around and do the team you know bonding thing and the hotel rooms we mixed it up every trip and they got to spend time with different kids in different times so um, at dinners we didn't have cell phones out they were all talking and joking around and it wasn't hard for them to give those up but you know I think it was a really important time for the girls to bond but also get to know the coaching staff and me and we had a lot of fun you know on the trips down there and even the coaching staff to get to know each other We even had a a few minor injuries and mixed up the lineup a lot too, just to see what each kid could could do and contribute to the team like on and off the court. Um, We saw a lot of grit and determination from them. We had a lot of different comebacks during the tournament play. We were working on being just more consistent with our energy and our our passing, and that has definitely improved throughout the season. So it, it showed us a lot that we needed to work on, but also the potential that this team has to go far.
far. Uh, we got to see a lot of good competition from all areas of the state in Dallas and Houston and San Antonio. So um, it puts us in a good spot. You look at the upcoming match this evening. I think you'll probably understand, even though your time in the DFW area was long, you probably had your fair share of rivals. It is a little bit different when Westlake plays Lake Travis and you get to experience that for the first time tonight and you do it on the road. Preview that game for us. I have definitely heard about the rivalry and and read about it in the papers too. You know, I'm excited. I'm ready to get over there and I've heard their gym is pretty cool uh, to play in. I'm excited that I know they're going to have a lot of fans. So it'll be an exciting environment to play in. You know, I think when we played Bowie, they also had a lot of good fans and, and made it loud and rowdy in there and the kids responded well. So they've had some of that practice to kind of go into it. But I think tonight is just going to be really going in there and focusing focusing the girls. I think that they're ready. And I think that for me, I'm nervous before every match, but you know, this one is just more of an excitement, you know, to get in there. And and no matter what happens, I think that um, our kids are ready to play. And I think we'll have a good showing. Yeah, Coach Dodge always talks about that as if you're not nervous, something's wrong with you. Yeah. And and I think that there's something to be said for going to their place Mm -hmm. and, and being able to understand what you're capable of as a player in that situation, but also as a coach being in that situation for the first time as well. In Dallas, it, the volleyball is also very strong. So we were used to having just some big nights and sometimes in district it was every night uh, was a big night, but this is definitely one of those matches that creates the the butterflies in the stomach. And that w- that's what makes it fun, you know, and the kids are all pumped up and it's just trying to keep them settled before we get there to kind of release that energy and use it at the right times. But I'm looking forward to it, you know, I think that we've prepared, we've done everything we could. So it's just trusting that and and going into tonight and adjusting when we need to, if we need to make any adjustments with the lineup or how we're playing, you know, we're ready for a battle and it's exciting. Final thought. I always talk about trust with the coaches and the players, and you just brought it up. Trust in 15, 16, 17, 18-year-old young women and developing a trust that is so new, and it seems like that can be the cornerstone. You can run all the miles you want to run, do all the sprints, do all the the physical training that you can possibly do to prepare Mm -hmm. them, but the mental side is rooted in that trust. What's your take on that? Because it is something that permeates through this entire field house, through all the sports at Westlake. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of goals set. What the varsity did the first week of August was come up with words that they thought were the most important for our culture. And our main thing is a culture of accountability and honesty. I think that we started that in April, just having honest conversations about things that people are doing well, things that needed maybe to be worked on. Um, and I think we've built that that trust throughout the team and through the program and the coaching staff. And you can see it in how we're playing right now. And the girls do trust each other. Like I said, no matter who comes on that court, Our bench has been doing a great job coming in and adding that extra spark and picking up the team and really playing well when they're needed. Um, And I think that they all are supportive of each other. They've been doing a good job um, in practice pushing each other and competing, which has really made us become a better team. So I do see some honesty throughout the program and, and that trust has been developed and and still improving. She's head coach of the Westlake volleyball team, Marcy Letaquente. Match tonight with Lake Travis. We'll be paying attention. We'll be promoting on social media. Good luck tonight and good luck on Friday as well. And thanks so much for doing this. Thank you.